Hello again. In this video, I'm going to talk about process of writing. Whatever kind of writing you are going to write, you need to have a process. This process and these steps are not in order. It means that <clears throat> it's not like that you have to finish step, step one and then go to step two and three. It's not like that. It's not one, two, three uh, at all. It's not, it's, not, it's not one, two, two. You can jump from one to three. You can jump from two to four because it's not, the writing is not the process of one, two, three. First step is plan. First, you have to gather your thoughts, brainstorm. You have to think about ideas. When you want to write a book, for sure you want to know what are you going to write about. First, find a team. Find a you know, idea, object, or whatever you want to write about. And then, as I told you in last video that you have to research, you have to gather information in order to the information handy. You have to have that information when you want to write. If you want to write autobiography, you have to gather your information from your past. If you want to write about somebody else or biography you have to talk to him her or the other person that have information about him or her anyway you have to have a lot of information in hand the next one is shape when you gather information you have to find the best way to organize your material when you open a book, normally there is chapter, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and go on. Or maybe there is another order in it. But anyway, you have to organize your material. Before naming the chapter, when especially, especially when you want to write a novel. Because writing a novel, characters come together, you have to information from that where to that where, or even autobiography is the same. If you want to write an autobiography, it's not like um, f as first childhood, then go, go, go until the adult or then middle age. No, you have to merge the information because this life is like this. And Roman, because the story of the people, it should be like this. It should be real. So you have to know that. What organization do you have? There is, um, I'm going to talk about this in another in the video about which, with which software you can use about this. Let me make a note that I don't forget. Uh, we'll talk about writing software that what tools you can use to write to make yourself uh, comfortable. Because if you don't have organized your information, you get lost. You have to know that which information where. It's like ev everything is like this. If you have a library, normally maybe somebody doesn't like, but I'm organized. So I divide the book in different sections, different parts of the library. Maybe somebody doesn't do this. When you have a set of pictures, you have to categorize them in 
different album or different places, you have to know which one is which. It's get handy in shaping the information to use for writing. The third one is draft. Draft is the first paragraph, first uh, note that you are taking. Write your idea in sentences and paragraphs. There is some technique for this. Um, it just I'm not gonna discuss those techniques. Maybe I will talk about it when I talk about software. But write your ideas in sentence and paragraphs. Somebody said uh, from number one to number 20, write it in a paper and in, in each number write a sentence and gather these 20 ideas and then you can use it for writing or you can combine it in a paragraph when you have sentences you can form a paragraph you can start writing that you can look at it and you know that you are progressing because if you are not progressing you get discouraged so find a way to show yourself that you are progressing and it depends on what kind of writing do you have you have to organize information and use it in different section of the uh, your writing after the first draft is finished then you have something to look, you have something that you completed as a first draft. You can revisit it, you can rewrite, you can change, you can delete, you can add, you can do whatever you want with the first draft. Revise the fourth step, it revisits your draft and rethink your ideas. Add, cut, move, and rewrite, or whatever you want. You can edit it. You can delete it. You can add, cut, paste. If you are using PC, computer, or technology, it's getting easier. But if you are writing with pen and paper, so we have to cross it, you have to add, it gets messy. But whatever you prefer i prefer pc but if you are comfortable with pen and paper so you have to do it but do it in a way that you go you don't get confused sometimes i make a note and then i want to bring the bottom of the page to the up then i flash it and then I, sometimes i get confused which one is which so I try to use a PC. Uh, and the fifth one, edit. Reread for error in technical area. In editing, you have to be careful. After revising your manuscript or text that you wrote, you have a good text shape and you can show it to somebody else because it's good for somebody else's eyes they can read it but if you want to edit it yourself i gave my book to the publisher they edit for me but if you want to edit your book yourself of course, I before I gave it, I edit myself because you cannot give a messy uh, text to someone to edit it for you. You have to do your best and then give it to somebody else to do it. Professional editor. But if you want to edit it yourself, reread for error in technical areas. 
Um, you can look for grammar, you can look for punctuation, you can look for any error, a spelling error. But if you want to edit it yourself, you have to leave the text aside. Give it a rest. Your mind has to be clear. You are so familiar with the text. You reread, rethink, and you are so familiar with the text. So leave it aside. And after one or two, you can come back to it and edit it. And the sixth and the last one is proofread. Check the draft for typo, typos and handwriting. And in this way, you can finish and this is the process of writing. From gathering idea, work on those ideas, build upon your ideas, and then complete it, and then edit, proofread, and then submit it to uh, publication. But remember, you don't have to go step by step. You can jump. And um, there is 10 things you should uh, consider it. The first one is assume a position. Because sometimes you don't, you know, you don't want or don't feel it, you're, you don't stick to your writing, especially for someone who is uh, starting writing is the first time so there is different things that you can choose to help you to write better and more comfortable assume a position sit at your position get your weapon of choice computer pen or whatever if you are not concentrated, it's impossible to write. Go to a quiet place. That's why I told you that it's a lot of loneliness in writing. Go to a quiet places that you can write. Second one is make the mind-body connection. You have to write something, but in order to write, your mind has to be clear. If you're worried too much about different things, get rid of them. You have to comfortable in your body. Your clothes should be comfortable. You cannot write with something is um, it's not uh, not comfortable, or your body is not feeling comfortable. Make the mind body connection. Your body has to be connected with your mind. It seems that action of writing by air writing can actually trigger brain into looking to attention. For someone in the technique, for someone who doesn't know how to write, someone who doesn't know what to write, they say that you can trigger it by imitating the writing. Just write on the air, whatever, and then it flows to your mind what you have to write. You can, in this tree, list of three, you can experience all of them and whichever is comfortable for you, you can choose that one and get it out from that technique. Fill the paper. For the first time, it's not important what you write. What is quality of your writing? It's not important. Just fill the paper, write as much as you can until you get the habit of writing. Don't criticize yourself so much. For the first time, just write. Don't reread it at, at all. Don't go back and read it. Just write, 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 and then after finishing, you can go back and reread it. So, if you read it all the time, 
you are not gonna finish it because you change it and it said no it's not good so you judge yourself for that give yourself grace for what you written and if number four is visualize yourself writing you can visualize yourself as a famous person and it helps you to write when you start your day imagine yourself later in the day writing a few pages of your story keep that picture of yourself successfully writing in the back of your mind if you're writing about a girl so keep the image of that girl in your head if you're writing about um, a disastrous event keep the image of that disastrous event in your mind whatever you're talking about keep that image in your mind number five is change point of view it's a technique to better writing for someone who wants to write novel or you know a screenplay a script for tv because you are writing about real character there should be real character you are writing a story that it happened that someone who watch or read should believe that the story happened then you can view that person as a real person make a uh, spare certificate for that person make a background of life of that person and then you write from that person point of view when you write from that person it means that you put yourself in the shoes of somebody else then you can write instead of her is it practice put yourself in shoes of other people and then think and if that person was here what would he do or what would she do or what would she say so you can write that number six switch writing method if you usually write with computer sometimes write with pen just for the creativity if you are okay then don't change it and these are techniques just for you to try and it get moving you faster because novelty is a wonderful thing and it's normal, it's new thing. So in order to be new, you need to refresh yourself. Number seven, use a brainstorming method. Concentrate on getting your idea done the paper, then go back and read and read and read. Because sometimes, when we want to write it about doesn't get real in we don't because we don't have a lot of experience in that area so we don't uh, put ourselves in that shoes we don't understand those environment now you see actors if they want to play a role of addict so maybe they go to person who addicts live and live among them and then they can understand and come and act uh, someone who is addict but anyway you have to use techniques to know better about different people number eight is picture a scene if you are a visual person, close your eyes. Listen to the happy crowd roaring at the circus. Smell the rich odor of peanuts. Start your writing by describing those events. Imagine, close 
your eyes and think about what atmosphere does it have and that's what you want to write number nine is frame your material as a letter as as, as though we have different kind of resume when you want to apply for a job there is different kind of resume so you can frame your material as letter, as cover letter, a different kind. So you can frame it different way that help you to go forward. Creative writing, if you want to be creative, creative writing is a pressure situation. Start to write as though you were addressing a friend or you are addressing someone who wants to hire you the ideas will follow and number 10 don't start at the beginning you don't i told you there is no one two three no you don't have to be one two three because you can start from the middle and start from five why one you can start from five and then go back to first, go back to first, go back to four, whatever you want. And for example, if you want to write a biography, you don't need to start from very first. You can start from middle age and flashback to the youth, teenager time, whatever you want. So it's your writing, your decision. You don't have to start from very first page and end it to the last page. It's very difficult. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about a different kind of writing. I see you in.